there's three major components of how a power grid functions. There's a turbine that spins that generates electrons. The electrons travel along a transmission line, and then there's a transformation that happens to them that makes them consumable. That's the whole thing, right? It's not a, it's not a complicated concept, but you introduce things like line loss, where moving energy over a distance is an inefficient practice and there's a loss factor along the way. Transformation, making sure that there's um, that there's a, a sort of equal access to, you know, step down power so that when you turn the kitchen lights on, they work. Um, you know, that it's a it's a uh, you know, like with most like with most things, you know, the internet's like this, roads are like this, um, you know, all of these sort of emergent networks or networked infra infrastructure functions in these um, like more localized than you expect kind of ways. So it's important to know that that there's a an engineering layer to power grids and there's a contractual layer to power grids. And those are really the two the two ways that all the parties kind of interrelate to each other. There's the actual mechanical component of how do I move electrons over lines? And then there's the contractual component, which is who is obligated to pay for electrons to get moved over lines and delivered to other people. Right. So if you think of sort of the, the you know, the systems of power of, of uh, governance that, that exists within a power market, there is what is achievable and what is obligated. Um, and the way that those two things interrelate with each other end up driving the economics that occur across the grid at, you know, at the, the um, generation and delivery levels.